emails needs pictures. So every email you want to send out, you probably want to add some kind of a picture if it's for your branding, your logo, uh, your product, whatever. Uh, if it's a Facebook or, an, uh, or a LinkedIn uh, logo that you want to put in there. So it needs some kind of pictures. To be uh, shown inside an email, it actually has to be an, uh, uh, a URL on the internet. So it has to be a publicly available picture. Uh, for most of the email clients these days, it's not possible to have an embedded picture anymore and definitely not large embedded pictures. So we have to tell PDF Butler where he can get the picture when PDF Butler creates the email for you. So we have to have a, a config type that's called picture to URL and that's the one that we are going to use today. Okay. So we're going to start all fresh, all clean. So I'm just going to delete all of the configuration I already made. And uh, first step is let's, uh, let's just add a file. We want to upload the picture that we want to serve in our documents. Okay, that's this header file. Um, inside our documents, I've already uh, created the documents. I've already put in a placeholder and I already gave this placeholder a unique name. So uh, when you want to have this uh, selection screen, just go to um, this formatting of and then select this selection screen. Uh, if it's if your uh, email word is not in Dutch, then just look at the icon how to get there. Okay, so uh, we have this header. We have uh, we know where the picture has to lie, has to sit. We want to uh, have uh, this picture shown at that place. So now we need to tell uh, PDF Butter and our email clients that we have to serve this picture when uh, the mail is being received. The upload is done, so that's already a good thing. So let's uh, take a look at our picture. It's already there. And now we're going to create a public link of this picture. Create the link. Okay, it's there. I'm going to copy the link, open it in a tab. And you will see that it's actually already opening the picture, showing the picture, but I can download it here. Uh, I can see information on the picture. So it's actually not the exact picture. It's more a, uh, uh, a URL towards Salesforce to say where the picture sits. So we need actually the address to the picture itself. How to get there? Right click the picture and copy the address of the picture. So the URL of the picture to test if it's now really this address that we have. Just put it into a new, new tab. You will see this header is not there anymore. It's only showing the picture. So that's exactly what we want. So this is the picture we are going to use. Okay, our picture is there. We have our uh, uh, picture shared on the internet for everybody, uh, for all email clients to get to. So now next step is let's create a data source. We create a star data source of type static values. So these are just values that you can uh, enter and then pass along to uh, to PDF Butler. So we're going to call this uh, email static values. Okay, save it. And okay, so now we're here. And now in this overview, you can actually put in your all of your uh, your values. So we only going to need one at this moment. So we're going to put here the entire URL that I just uh, copied. So uh, from uh, from this part here by right clicking and taking the address. So uh, entire URL and the uh, name of that um, static value is going to be the name that we have here. So it's going to be called header. Copy that one and then paste it in here. Okay, so that's our static value. That's our value. Now we are going to use that inside our email. So I have my email already here. My document is already uploaded. I just need to add the data source uh, static values. Okay, put in a dummy field. Uh, it doesn't really care uh, about that. So just put in any field, then the, the system is happy. And we click OK, and now we're there. We have our static values. We can use those, and we're going to use those inside a new config type, a config type called picture to URL. You will only find this config type when your uh, doc config is of type email. So you will not find this inside the normal uh, PDF Butler 
uh, documents. Okay, so I'm going to call this header. The data source is of course our static value and our merge field is header. So our merge field is this one here. What will now happen is that it will take this merge field. It will search that merge field inside the uh, email static value. And that's why we also called this name here header. So th those all three things have to line up the name here of the static value. The, uh, um, the merge field here has to line up and it has to be the same name in here of our picture. Okay, when that is done, we are there. We save the server. Okay, looking good. Everything gets uh, saved correctly. So now let's give it a test. We are going to go to a quote and we are going to mail this quote. Okay, it's a German quote, so everything should be in German. I'm going to email it. Just a click of the button, document is generated, the email is sent out, and now I just have to wait a couple of seconds and uh, before my email client can, uh, can pick it up. Just going to look if it's already there. Oh yeah, it's already there. That went really fast. And as you can see, our picture just sits nicely inside this, uh, this document. Uh, it's now served from the internet. Our client uh, likes it. So it just shows it. Our document is attached. It's in the, it's in the, con uh, the language of the, uh, of the customer and it gives, it's very personalized. It uh, gives the overview of who our customer is. So pictures to URL, we got you covered. We have uh, explained this one as well.